What is happening everyone? Brian Mello here again over at Marty's Buick GMC. Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at this 2021 GMC CR 2500 HD Denali Ultimate with the 6.6 .6 liter Duramax underneath the hood. Funny enough, I actually just shot a 1500 Denali Ultimate in this same Hunter Metallic paint, but now we got the 2500. This thing's pretty well stuffed out. MSRP on this truck is 80,000. $805 and well, let's let's dive right into this thing of course first thing we notice we've got the LED day running lights LED housing headlamps we've got LED fog lights down low you might be able to hear that diesel engine running right now 445 horsepower 910 foot pounds of torque we've got that big bold Denali grill we've got our front parking sensors here we've got the chrome skid plate lower in the lower balance we've got the chrome tow recovery hooks we've got the functional hood scoop so that actually funnels air pushes it right down into the intake of the engine and if we come up close you're going to see the front camera for the hd surround vision camera system and i'll do things a little different let's actually pop the hood right off the right off the rip give you a look at the duramax and then i'll shut it down not sure if the camera's actually going to be picking up all the engine noise not that these things are very loud anymore but Better safe than sorry. So I'm just gonna throw that up there. So right here you can see that's where the air actually comes down, funnels in right down here and right into our intake system. And I'm gonna shut up and just kinda walk around, let you take a look at the engine. Not sure if my microphone's gonna pick it up because it's really supposed to cut out all the noise, but Hopefully it picks it up a little bit. Definitely a lot quieter than, than the diesels of the past, that is for sure. So that's your 6.6 Duramax right there. I'm just gonna shut it down. And then we'll go uh, over all the different options in this truck. Like I said, Hunt, uh, Hunter Metallic Paint. Let's see if I can find a nice spot where the sun is hitting it so you can see this paint. There you go. Beautiful paint job. I know I've said it in my other videos. Might be the closest thing to the satin steel metallic as far as favorites go. And I will actually link right here if you want to see the 1500 uh, Denali Ultimate that we just recently filmed. Pretty much loaded just the way this is, but in the 1500 version, I'll put a link to that video uh, right here. So starting out, we've got our wheel and tire package here. We're on a 20 inch black wheel with machine face. And this is a 275, 65, 20 Goodyear Wrangler Trail Runner AT tire. And I want to say this is load range. Let me see if I can find it. Load range E right there. Up top, once again, you can get a nice look right here on this body line of that Hunter Metallic paint. We've got our Duramax 6.6 liter badge here. We've got our power folding mirrors. I'm gonna step back and give you just a nice side profile of this thing. It's gonna take me a while to walk all the way back because it is a monster. What a great looking truck though. Uh, unfortunately, because I know I'm gonna get the comment if you're in the market for one of these and you're hoping this one is available, this truck is actually sold. Uh, I was about to be delivered. I believe we're delivering it tomorrow. It's just got to go down to the detail shop. And I was like, ah, oh, got to show the guys on YouTube uh, this truck because it's just, it's just a looker. You've got, of course, your, it's a Denali. So you've got your chrome trim uh, around the windows. You get your chrome, uh, chrome door handles. We've got our chrome step Denali HD down low on the door. And, you know, let's just take another look at this paint. I can't get enough of it. GM, GM paint has come a long way. Uh, starting on the bottom of the bed, you do have a step makes your life a little bit easier if you're climbing in. If we look in here, you can see you've also got our Rancho shocks. We've got our heavy duty suspension back here. So whatever you're planning on throwing in the bed should not be an issue whatsoever. Of course, factory spray and bed liner. You've got Denali right there in Boss. We've got the LED third brake light, power sliding rear window, and of course, yet another camera, if you can see right there uh, for your HD surround vision camera system. You also have my skipped out on it. Um, I'll walk back really quickly. You've got another camera 
hidden right here underneath your mirror. And you do have LED backup lights as well in the mirror. Sometimes I skip things. Feel free to yell at me in the comments. I don't take it to heart. Uh, on the back, of course, we've got our multi-pro tailgate. We've got our easy step uh, bumper in the side. We've got our rear backup sensors. Trailer tow package is, of course, all set up. And I do believe that this truck right here has the kicker audio system right there in the multi-pro tailgate. Awesome system. If you're planning on you know, doing a lot of sport events, maybe your kids are involved in sports and you want to be the life of the party, this is a great way to do it. Uh, turn these up. They're Bluetooth enabled. You've also got an auxiliary jack back here. They are weather sealed, so no concerns there. Awesome for tailgating. I know we do a lot of tailgating here uh, in New England, even though our football team is not so great anymore. You know, still, you know, it's fun going to Gillette. We miss you, Tom. You do have, actually before I shut this, you do have your uh, power outlet here, and then you've got three tie downs in each corner, and you can expand that if you need. You can see those plugs there, just pull out. Uh, you can put more hooks in if you need it. You do have your LED interior lighting as well, and there is a handle uh, over here on the left that folds up. If you've got some bad knees, maybe a little older, maybe you're not older and you still get bad knees. Uh, it makes it a little bit easier to get in and out of this thing. It's a hell of a truck. As far as towing capacities and all that go, I'll leave that in the description below. So you have that at your disposal. But let's take a look at the window sticker before we get into the interior. Although you're gonna kind of see it, but in fact, geez, guys, did I skip the key fob? I actually did. I skipped the key fob. I'll show you the key fob first. So there's your key fob. You've got your lock, your unlock, your remote start, drop the tailgate, panic button. Back in the pocket it goes. All right, so here's a look at our window sticker. If you want to pause the video right now, let me flatten this out. If you want to pause the video right now, go ahead and do that. If you're on desktop, it'll be a lot easier. Uh, but you should be able to look at everything that's on the window sticker. Alternatively, I'll go through it really quickly so you can see we've got 2021 CR2500 Denali Crew Cab. We've got the Hunter Metallic Paint. Interior is dark walnut, dark ash gray. We've got the Duramax, the Allison 10 speed. You can see we've got our Denali Ultimate package here. We've got the rear camera mirror, multicolor heads up display, the power sunroof, the wheels, the Hunter Metallic Paint, which is an upgraded option. Of course, all our you know standard features. Standard, this vehicle is 65.1, but with the added Duramax, the Denali Ultimate Package, the wheels, and everything else, that drags us over here to 80,805. And for those that need to know, there's your GVW right there, 11.3. Uh, the dark ash interior is a little bit different. So it's, uh, it's, like a, it's like a gray and a blue almost. And you've got the stitching to match, so it looks really good. We got perforated back here because these seats in the back are heated, so that's always nice. We've got 10 quart storage container in the back, both seats. You can fit an iPad in here. That's just something I use to test, see what I can put back there. Um, I've had people throw jumper cables and things. You can fold those up and put them in there as well. Now you just really got to be uh, like origami style. Uh, drop down armrest, of course, doubles as a cup holder. And I believe underneath, yes. So underneath you do have, they make a, they do make a bigger storage uh, tray. You actually, once again, in that 1500 Denali Ultimate video that I, I did earlier, once again, there's a link for it. Um, there's a, a bigger storage tray that you can get, but this works pretty well. Once again, if you need to throw jumper cables uh, back here, if you need to throw a tow chain or whatever else, you can throw that here when you hit the brakes. It's not gonna come sliding out from underneath the seat. Anyone that's been dri driving a pickup truck long enough uh, knows that's, that that's pretty common practice. And then I'm just gonna throw this back down and put the window sticker here so it doesn't get all messed up. Let's look at your carpets, carpeted floor mat. In the back, you've also got a USB, a USB-C. There's your heated seat controls, and then you've got your standard vehicle power outlet. You've got the pockets on the back of both seats. You've got LED interior lighting above. And over here on your door, it, this one should give you another look so you can see that dark ash color here and then you've got the wood with the aluminum trim all ties together really nicely let's hop up front though the only thing I think this doesn't have is the uh, 
Oh no, no, it's got everything. Just giving you a better look at your seat. You can see Denali on your headrest. All right. Now, as I always say, I'll go through this kind of quickly. Um, at the end, if you have any questions, concerns, comments, by all means, uh, leave a comment down below and I'll be glad to address that. I'm gonna go through this quick because we gotta get this thing to the gas station and fill her up. All right, so starting over here on the left, we've got our power windows, power door locks, power mirror controls, your mirrors. They do fold in like this. And they also extend into trailer mode like that. Pretty convenient. You've got your door locks here. Your memory seat buttons are here. Starting at the on the this side of the dash, we've got our drive mode selector. So basically like sport mode. Actually, I might as well just flip it. So you can see we got normal mode. So we get normal mode and off-road mode in this one. 1500s, you get a sport mode. You've got your four-wheel drive controls. You've got your spotlight over the bed. We've got our fog lights. We've got our uh, gauge cluster brightness. We've got our headlight controls right here. And then behind the steering wheel right here, we've got our heads-up display. So this is a 15-inch heads-up display. And it might be a little tough to see in the video, but you can see I'm moving that around. It doesn't look as big as it really is in the video. Ha ha. Just, that's just a meatball right there. Um, <laughs> you can adjust the brightness here. You can go through all the different uh, options. You can see now I'm looking at ang departure angles, the speed limit, uh, forward collision alert right there. Uh, during the day, this is awesome. It's super convenient. At nighttime, I do find it distracting. So you can just tap that button all the way down and you can turn it off if you choose to do that. On the steering wheel, we've got some nice like brushed aluminum trim here. Of course, we've got our Denali in the center. Heated steering wheel, forward collision alert, your cruise controls on the left. You've also got controls back here. You can switch through your radio stations. Over on the right, on the back is your volume controls. You also get your hands-free dialing. And then this little toggle you can see kind of goes through all the different information in your gauge cluster. Air filter, brake pad life, all that good stuff. You can of course use your navigation through here, your phone, and you can customize all this information uh, just by going over to the settings there. I usually leave it on home. It seems to be the most common. Uh, over here brings us to our GMC IntelliLink system. Of course, a full color touch display, AM, FM, XM, satellite radio, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. You've got a 4G LTE Wi-Fi hotspot set up. Uh, you do have your navigation. Your trailering system is pretty cool. You can set up different trailers so the truck knows what's hooked up. You can set up uh, your OnStar system, your My GMC. You can schedule your service through here. You also have different applications that you can download into the system as well. You can utilize your climate control settings. However, I'm very happy that we still have normal climate controls. I'm just the type of guy that likes to spin the knob and you know get to where I want it to be. Your camera, here's a look at your HD surround vision camera system. This is an amazing system. I'm not gonna go through everything, um, but if there was anything that you could possibly want to see, the options are there for you. You can see we're looking in the bed here. I'll just toggle through a couple of them. You can see uh, that's behind us, right? Yeah, behind us, in front of us. Whatever we're looking at here, see how you get your yellow dot? So your yellow dot is going to correspond with which direction? So that's the front. Now we're looking at the back. Now we're looking at the back, looking at the front. We've got our 360 view, which is pretty wild. We've got our curb hunter cameras, as I like to call them. So if you're tucking this thing up close to a curb in the city, uh, you'll be able to do that without curbing your nice 20 inch wheels. You've also got the split screen that I had enabled here. You can also disable that. So it's all up to you. There's a ton of options. If there's an angle on this truck that you need to see, you can absolutely see that with this system. It's also got the trailer camera, so you can actually see, it's hard. I always try to explain it, like you can see through the trailer. Um, the, the camera goes on the back side of the trailer. So when you activated it, you would see what's behind the trailer. So it's kind of nice. So you don't have just that uh, blocked view. Uh, below the IntelliLink system, of course, once again, if you have any questions, shoot those down below. I'll try and answer those for you. Uh, we have our climate control system. I think we all know how those work nowadays. We've got our heated and ventilated seats. We've got our exhaust brake, lane departure warning, parking sensors on or off, drop the tailgate, um, hazard lights, traction control, turn our power outlets like the one you saw in the bed on or off and hill descent control. We've also got a full power outlet here. We've got a standard power outlet, a USB, USB-C, and there's our trailer brake controller. Down here, we've got a power charging mat, so you can just put your phone down as long as you've got a conductive back. Uh, most phones nowadays have that. Just sit your phone down, it's gonna charge wirelessly. Really great feature. We've got our cup holders here. We've got a big console. 
like a perforated leather console lid in the center. I like the way they did that. It kind of breaks it all up so it's not just one big piece of leather. Inside, we've got the hangers for folders. So if you're a construction guy, you're going to need to hang anything. You can do that. You've also got a USB, a USB-C, an auxiliary jack, and an SD card port uh, in here as well. This is channeled so you can run cables out. You do have Bose audio in here. I always forget until I see the Bose logo on the speaker, but then just here's another look at your door. You can see you get that wood grain with the dark ash interior and the aluminum surround. And once again, that, that brushed aluminum. They just, everything ties really well together in here. You've also got another little storage container up top on the top of the dash. And then above you, you've got your programmable garage door opener. We've got our power sliding rear window controls, our power moonroof controls, our OnStar buttons, and then we've also got our HD backup mirror, rear view mirror. You can adjust the brightness, which you can see I'm doing there. I usually keep it cranked all the way up, and then you can adjust the tilt, and then you can also adjust how zoomed in or out. So I think zoomed all the way out gives you the best field of view, and this is a lot better to look at than that. I mean, let's be real, it's kind of sort of useless. That is amazing, and that stays on all the time as long as you flip that uh, mirror switch. Uh, you can drive around with it, and that's going to be what you're looking at. And that, my friends, is the pretty quick rundown of this 2021 GMC Sierra Denali 2500 HD Ultimate with the 6.6 Duramax. If you've got any questions, concerns, comments, once again, I know I've said it a few times, drop a comment down below. Happy to answer any questions that you guys may have. And I will see you all in the next video. i got to bring this thing down and have it detailed now. Someone's going to get themselves a nice early summer present. Take care, guys. Thanks again.